Kia ora koutou. My name is Joe Trinder and I'm here today on behalf of People Before Profit. And today what we're going to be talking about is the Labour Party contradicting itself over Ihua Matua soul campaign. Now, last Thursday, Save Our Unique Landscape, a, or Soul, went down to the council chambers to lobby Auckland City Councillors to avoid building over the cultural heritage site at Ihuamatua. Now, they went in the droves and uh, what happened was Councillor Cathy Casey, she put forward a uh, proposal to revoke the earlier recommendation to offer Ihuamatua as a special housing area. Now, they went into voting and something really bizarre happened. Mangari's own councillor from Labour, Alf Filipina, he voted against Cathy Casey's recommendation. And so on that same day, real bizarre, that same day, Labour's Phil Twyford uh, also put out a press release and the press release said Taiho to at Ihua Matua says Labour. Golly gosh. Now, this is really contradictory on behalf of Labour. I mean, you're saying one thing and then you're voting against that very thing. You know? Guys, what's going on over there at Labour? Seriously, Alf, what are you doing? Why are you voting against your own party sentiments and also your own community? So, Alf went on to make this really inspiring speech. To the community and Mangani, I will not be giving false hope because that's what I believe we will be doing if I vote to revoke. Now, Alf, brah, what you doing, man? Well, you're just going to put it in the too hard basket because it's what, too hard to vote for your own community? Seriously, brah, what you doing? I mean, Alf Filipina, he's Napoi. I mean, Napoi Māori, he should be really out there fighting for indigenous rights in his community. But, you know, he's, he's, he's in there for corporations, building housing over cultural heritage sites and ancient Māori burial grounds. So, I hope so, Alf, you rethink your position on this. So, uh, Roger Fowler from the Respect Our Community campaign, or ROC, he's the chairman of it, he went on to say, made this comment, it certainly ain't over until it's over. And it won't be over until Ihuamatua is permanently protected from being further desecrated. Together, we could do this. It's our duty. Now, I really like Roger Fowler. I ran with Roger during um, the last local body elections against Alf uh, Filipina. And, you know, Roger's got his heart in the right place. You know, for the community. I mean, Roger's... Roger's taking the action behind the community. So why is Alf not? Alf's not backing his own community. So, now don't get me wrong. I ain't against building housing in Mangari. We desperately need more housing in Mangari. But the thing is, is we shouldn't be building it over the top of cemeteries. I mean, Nick Smith wasn't joking when he says that he was going to be building houses over the top of cemeteries. He wasn't, this guy wasn't joking. He really was going to do it. So, Seoul, Save Our um, Unique Landscape, they've recommended a place which is about one minute away, and it's in Ascot Road. And there's absolutely no reason why they can't build housing down at Ascot Road. But here's my theory why they want to build at Ihuamatua. It's because it, they want to build mansions that overlook, overlook the water because so, it's by the waterfront, so they want waterfront mansions. I mean, seriously, you ain't going to have a good life and 
a prosperous family life if you build over the over the top of ancient burial grounds. Alf, you should know this. Brah, you should really, you should know this stuff. So, we really think that Labour should maybe say and its actions should really follow what it says in the media. And so, this is Joe Trinder, and I'm here on behalf of People Before Profit. Kia ora.